Let's talk about the physics of sound. Now, wait a minute, Eric. You said we're going to learn how to play guitar. I don't want to learn science. I've done that already. Well, I promise you, we're only going to scratch the surface on how the physics of sound works and then how it relates to the guitar. And just knowing this little bit will be very helpful, I promise you. Otherwise, I would not have included this video. Okay, so <clears throat> let's talk basics of sound first. Some of this you probably remember from school, but when an object vibrates, it vibrates air particles, and those air particles hit your eardrum, which vibrates your eardrum, and then we have the perception of sound, okay? Similar to our other senses, with the sense of sound, we need to have something that's vibrating that vibrates the air that then vibrates our eardrum, and that's how we perceive sound, okay? Now, the bigger a body is, the b anything, the bigger a guitar string is, the bigger an animal is, the bigger a person is, uh, doesn't matter, the lower the pitch that they can make, okay? So uh, vocal cords and those sorts of things. That's why men typically have deeper voices than women, typically because their vocal cords are longer. So the smaller an object, so on the opposite side there, smaller an object is, typically, the higher it vibrates, which means the pitch goes up. So pitches that, um, that vib vibrate at slow speeds tend to be low in pitch. So this would be lower, and this would be going up here is higher. And then this string would be higher than the low string. And if you look at them, this string is much thicker than that string, okay? And then as we're moving up the fretboard, we also are shortening our string length. So when we pick a guitar, when we pick a string on a guitar, what's happening is it's vibrating between the nut and the bridge. Okay, so when we pluck it, I can place my fingers right here on the string, on the strings, all of them, and it doesn't affect the sound. But as soon as I go past the nut, then it gets muted because we're interrupting the vibration of the string. Okay, so when we pluck a string, it's vibrating between the nut and the bridge, so the whole length of the string. And as we press the string down on the frets, then what happens is the pitch goes up because we're shortening, every time we do that, we're shortening the string length. And remember we said that the smaller a body is, the higher pitch it is, right? That's why we call this going up the neck because we're going up in pitch, okay? All right, so we pluck that string, it's vibrating between these two points. When we put our finger down, basically what's happening is we're taking the string and we're interrupting it, but we're not muting it. What we're doing is we're pressing it down onto the fret, okay? Now, we haven't learned that technique yet. We will, okay? That's coming up next. But essentially what's happening is we're pressing that string down and it's being depressed onto the fret that's in front of that finger, okay? So if this is if this is zero and this is the first fret, then if I put my finger in here, I'm pressing the string down and the string is right there on that fret, okay? It's being pressed down and held down as if it were the nut. And that's why we can play it and we can have our finger here and we're not interrupting the sound. Now, if I went a little bit past the fret, now we start interrupting the sound again because we have something soft that's muting the string, our finger. But when we pluck the string while we're fretting it, what's happening is that string is being pressed down on the fret, which is hard, and the bridge is hard, and so we get a nice vibration sound there. But if we move our finger over the fret, now we start getting that muted sound and it gets interrupted. Okay? So really, that's all that we need to talk about in regards to the physics of sound. Basically, that we have vibration and we're talking about pitch, and obviously, uh, the, the stronger the wave lengths are, or the, the particles that are hitting your ear, the louder something is. So uh, an object that's moving lots of air, 
is going to be louder, and that's how we perceive uh, volume. Okay, so we'll we'll be addressing that to some degree within the course when we're um, when we're talking about you know maybe ac accenting a note or something like that. We may play it louder or slightly harder, and then that would we would perceive that as slightly louder. All right, let's keep going.